Confluence is a great tool for creating and hosting a lot of content for your entire team and creating content really quickly so you can jump in and get rolling fast. But every team sort of hits this point where they need to start standardizing their content in some ways. This is especially important for that content that's really repetitive or should follow a similar structure like meeting notes or retrospectives or project planning pages. And without some kind of structure to organize or some guidance here, your content ends up being all over the place with messy and inconsistent formatting. This is where templates come in. Hi, I'm Matt with K15T and I'm gonna to talk to you today about why Confluence templates aren't just a nice to have feature, but actually an essential tool for enabling your team to create better content in Confluence quickly and consistently. I'm gonna talk about why templates offer the perfect mix of formatting and freedom, how they can help tackle the blank page problem that blocks so many of us from creating a really good page, and how they help make sure that our Confluence content is found and understood the right way. Templates are really important to enable your teammates to create content really, really quickly and ensuring that content is consistent. You can use the templates button up in the menu to have a look at a massive collection of pre-made templates that you can peruse through and find one that might just work for your team. Maybe it'll help with capacity planning or customer interview reports or a disruptive brainstorming session. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Use disruptive brainstorming techniques to generate fresh ideas with your team. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna use this. You can have a look at the template here. You can see what it might enable your team to do. You can click learn more to have a fully documented use case for this template. And finally, you can click use template to get going with it quickly. Once you've found a page template that works really, really well, the next step is to enable your team to use it consistently and to create those new pages in a consistent place. So for example, on this projects page, I'm going to use the create from template macro to select the template that I wanna use, in this case, the project template, and I'm going to create the text on my button. So I'm gonna say, create a project. And now I can see this beautiful button that's going to sit on this page. And now anytime anybody looks at this list of projects, they could say, oh, I wanna create a new project. Click that button and it will automatically open up the editor with that template all ready to go so they can get their project started. Now, you might be thinking, hold up, when do I decide I actually need a template? Like I don't wanna force everybody to make every piece of content with a page template. Well, here's a good rule of thumb to follow. Consider the type of page you're creating and think about whether that type of page in that sort of format is something your team or the organization is going to replicate many, many, many times. That's when a template is necessary. If it's something you're creating one off or maybe just a couple of, that's more an instance where you wanna just create a page and maybe copy it a couple of times. Always think about what will the greater team need to do. So let's check out that project template and take a look at why it's really useful for the team. So first of all, you'll notice as a project manager creating a new project, I don't have to think about the information that should be here. It's already defined with instruction text, so I can just start typing in information, setting dates, and what have you. There's also a status log area along the side, so each week I know to put a status update there so my team knows what the current status is and all the past statuses. They can also see project goals, affected metrics, definition of done, and milestones, so anybody reading the page knows the status of the project, what's been delivered, what is yet to come, and what the final of out outcome of the project is going to look like. One of the hidden benefits of templates is you can also add labels to those. We really like labels. You should check out our video about labels. You can do cool stuff with labels. Here's one of those things. So because I now have a bunch of pages that have the label projects on them, I can use the content by label macro here, and I can search for all the pages with the project label. And now I'm gonna get a dynamic list of all the projects in my space. I can even you know, hide things. So maybe I wanna alter this list. Again, I immediately have a beautiful list of all the projects without any work because everybody's creating similar and consistent content using templates. Yay. So project pages are a very generic example of what you might use a template for. But what about a team specific example? Well, imagine you're a part of an asynchronous team who wants to answer questions, make decisions, and really just reach consensus without having to schedule a meeting. Well, you could create something like this. We call this the team question template. 
Here, you could describe what the question is and then take time in the page comments to discuss the answers, the opinions, the ideas, and then within a certain amount of time, someone will come back and enter and document the answer to the question everyone had, as well as any of the decisions the team made. This is a very specific use case for templates, but you can see how it enables teams to do the very unique functions that teams need to do. Once again, these use labels so you can do cool stuff with them. Check out our video about labels. So we've talked a lot about how great templates are and how they empower teams and organizations to do really, really cool stuff with consistent and powerful content. And we've taken a look at some of the pre-made templates that are included with Confluence and a couple of custom ones that you might make for specific use cases. But what use cases do you have? What custom template are you gonna make? Let us know in the comments below. Also, you might be thinking, yeah, okay, so how do I make a good custom template? Well, click that subscribe button and join us for the next video as we dive deep into that topic. And of course, there's many other topics in Confluence that we wanna talk about. So join us for the next video as we continue to explore how to use Confluence to share what you do best.